Hello my dear students, I am Divya and I am welcoming you all in my another video of the topic Nomenclature of Coordination Compound. This video is in continuation uh, with my previous video so you can go and check that video. In this video we are going to discuss some of the important questions. I had picked these questions from previous year board examination paper. Some of these are of 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So you have to just practice all these questions. So let's start with the very first question here. It's given potassium tetrahydroxyzincate 2. So you have to first recall the nomenclature rules which I had which I had already discussed in my previous section. So just recall the rules of nomenclature and now the very first rule is we have to identify the cation part of this nomenclature okay so here as you know potassium is electropositive element so it's a cation portion cation part so we have to write first of all the formula of potassium so let's start with k okay and then as you know we write the ligand and central metal atom in square bracket here the central metal atom is zinc and it is used because the coordination sphere is negatively charged. It's a rule that if the coordination sphere is negatively charged, we add 8 to the central metal atom name. Okay, so central metal atom is zinc here. Now we have to identify the ligand part. Here the ligand is hydroxido. So we have to we have to check the name which show the formula of this. Okay. So it's a hydroxido. So here you can see it's OH. Okay. OH. So we will write here OH whole 4. 4 is because it's tetra. Fine. Now we had to close this bracket. Here you can see it's 2 written here. What does this represents here? It, this represents the oxidation number of zinc. Now we have to see if we put the oxidation number plus 2 for zinc and as we know OH is having minus 1 charge so we can write or we can calculate the charge of coordination coordination sphere so how what we will get plus 2 minus 4 is equals to x now x is equals to what minus 2. So if the coordination sphere is having minus 2 charge so if we balance we know we cross multiply we cross multiply this rule is you have already studied in class 10. So if it's having minus 2 charge it should be having 2 potassium ion which is balancing its balance C. Okay. So, it, this is also very important to get to know how many number of atoms of potassium we will going to write here. Okay. Let's go to the next nomenclature. Here you can see it's written hexaamine platinum for chloride. So, again we have to identify the cation and anion here. The Anion is what chloride as we know it's having Cl negative charge and the positive part is this. So we have to write first of all we have to make a coordination sphere square bracket. Platinum is our central metal atom so Pt amine okay. Amine is what NH3 amine is NH3 so we have to write NH3 here NH3 whole hexa means 6 and square bracket close here 
we have uh, we know that it's the roman representation shows the oxidation number of central metal atom and it's given here four okay and as we know that ammonia is having neutral charge it's neutral ligand so if we calculate the charge of coordination sphere platinum is having plus four charge plus six multiplied by zero is equals to x so x is having four all right so chloride will be what we are having four here okay now we have to write nomenclature of this formula we have to name it so how we will do it we have to write the name of ligand cl and en in alphabetical order and we know en is ethane 1 to diamine and cl is chloride okay so c come first so we will write here di chloride why chloride because we name we add o negative ligands end with an o so if we have chloride we will write it as chloride if we have iodine we will write it iodine okay bromide fluoride and so on so dichloride bis ethane 1 2 di amine platinum why platinum because it's, it's have it's a neutral coordination sphere neutral coordination sphere so we, i had already told you that if a coordination sphere is neutral or positively charged we write the name of central metal atom as it is and if the coordination sphere is having minus two charge as you can see here coordination sphere is having minus two charge the name of zinc is not zinc here we write zincate okay uh, now how we have to calculate this oxidation state of platinum En is ethane 1 to diamine. The formula of this is CH2, CH2, NH2 and NH2. This is ethane, ethane 1 to diamine. It's a neutral ligand, so have a zero oxidation state. Cl is having minus 1 oxidation state. So now, it's easy to calculate oxidation number of central metal atom put x plus 0 multiplied by 2 plus 2 multiplied by minus 1 x plus 0 minus 2 is equals to 0 x is equals to plus 2 so the oxidation state of platinum is 2 all right very good if you understood this you can write the name of remaining two questions also very easily so we you have to comment the formula of hexa hexanamine cobalt sulfate and potassium trioxalato chromate 3 this is you have to comment the answer of these two questions okay so as you practice more and more questions of this in ncrt also the index question and the solved exercise questions if you go through all the questions and you are not getting any kind of query or any kind of confusion i must say you have you are going to score plus two two marks from here very easily because uh, from since 2000 12 or 2013 you you are having two marks of uh, on this nomenclature part so just go and practice and practice you will definitely score the marks from this topic i assure you go and must watch my 
previous video also and if you like my video please share like and comment also and uh, if you want to to me to teach any another video or any other topic for so i will make the video so let me know and thank you for watching once again very much thank you